This material is for information purpose only. However no update service will be furnished to maintain current revision. It cannot be relied upon to perform any maintenance task on the aircraft or to meet safety or regulatory requirements. Please do use the current revision and effectivity of aircraft maintenance manual prior to carrying out any maintenance task respectively. There are two batteries in an A320. The wording bat shows in white of the corresponding battery if it is in off position. Whereas it shows green together with its voltage and amperes if it is in on position. As a general rule when a parameter is in its normal value range it is displayed in green while the box title in white. A parameter becomes amber when its value is out of range this is accompanied by the box title in amber. All the units are displayed in blue. For external power indication, parameter shows when available in its normal value range it is displayed in green while the box title in white. It is not displayed when not available. Generator 1 or 2 indication in amber when relative engine is not running. In green when parameters is in normal range and when the engine is running. Gen is in amber when switched off. Off indication appears white. Transformer rectifier units converts AC current to DC. It shows green when normally supplied. Green lines appears when two components are connected. Otherwise not displayed. When the APU master switch is in off position, a white indication of APU gen shows despite whatever the position of APU gen push button switch is. When the APU master switch is in on position the APU gen shows in amber and off white if the APU gen push button is in the off position. When both APU gen and master switch push button is on the parameters shows in green when in normal range. Battery connection lines shows in green when the battery is connected, otherwise not displayed. Green arrow shows when the charging current is more than 1 ampere. An opposite amber arrow shows when the discharge current is more than 1 ampere. Bus bar indication normally displayed in green. In amber when not supplied. An amber shed indication appears when AC or DC shed essential bus is off. DC battery indication in amber when voltage is below 25. Emergency generator indication. Parameters not displayed in normal configuration. Whereas it is displayed in green when in use. Static inverter indication is not displayed in normal configuration. Parameters appears in green only during static inverter test. Galley shed indication appears in white if galley and cabin push button switch is in off position or if the main galley is automatically shed with only one generator online. Not displayed in normal configuration. IDG 1 or 2 indication in amber when relative engine is not running, otherwise white. IDG in amber if oil outlet temperature is more than 185 degrees Celsius, or when the oil pressure is low or when the IDG is disconnected. Oil outlet temperature normally green advisory between 147 to 185 degrees Celsius. Amber if more than 185 degrees Celsius. Essential TR indication parameters not displayed in normal configuration because its contactor is open. Parameters in green when in use, same logic as for the TR1 and 2 indications. The white battery voltage is always indicated. The battery voltage indications are LCDs and are wired directly to the batteries. A minimum battery voltage of 25.5 ensures a minimum charge of 50%. If there are no any light illuminated on the push button, it means that the related battery charger automatically controls the connection and the disconnection of the related battery to the DC BAT bus. Fault light comes on when the charging current increases at an abnormal rate. Off white light when the battery is disconnected and the battery charge limiter is out. The off light comes on only if the DC BAT bus is still supplied. When there are no lights on external power push button it means no external power is connected or the parameters are out of the normal range. Avail light in green when the external power is connected and available. The parameters are in the normal range. 
The external power push button controls the external power contactor by pressing this push button momentarily. The on indication appears blue when the avail was on and the contactor closes supplying the aircraft network. If the contactor opens the blue on light extinguishes and the avail green light comes on. When there are no lights on Gen 1 or 2 or APU Gen push buttons means the related generator is managed by the system provided its electrical parameters are normal. When the fault light appears the related generator is automatically not online. The fault light of the APU Gen push button switch is inhibited when the APU is not running. Whereas the off light comes on when the related generator is no longer online. The AC Essential Feed Push Button Switch enables the crew to switch the supply of AC Essential Bus from AC Bus 1 to AC Bus 2. When no lights AC Essential Bus is normally supplied by AC Bus 1 or automatically by AC Bus 2 if AC Bus 1 is lost. Fault Light when the AC Essential Bus is not supplied. Alternate Light comes on when manually selected AC Essential Bus is supplied by AC Bus 2. The IDG guarded push button enables the crew to disconnect a related IDG from its drive shaft and functions normally. If there are no any lights the related IDG is connected to its drive shaft. The fault light comes on in case of IDG oil overheat or oil low pressure. The fault light goes off when the IDG is disconnected. Caution. Press the IDG push button switch until the generator fault light comes on but not more than 3 seconds to avoid damage to the disengaged solenoid. Also never disconnect the IDG with the engine not running as related disengaged solenoid will be damaged at the next engine start. No lights on bus tie push button switch means, the system automatically opens or closes to maintain both AC bus 1 and 2 supplied. Off light illuminates when both sides are isolated. The galley and cabin push button switch controls the main galley secondary galley and if installed in seat power supply and in flight entertainment system to be electrically supplied. If there are no lights on the push button the main galley the in seat power and in flight entertainment system will be automatically shed if only one generator is online. Fault light illuminates when the load of any generator is above 100% of rated output. Off light illuminates when the main galley secondary galley in seat power and in flight entertainment systems are not supplied. When lights off the optional commercial push button if installed allows the commercial electrical loads to be supplied such as cabin and cargo lights water and toilet system drain mast ice protection galleys passenger entertainment. When off light illuminates indicates all above commercial electrical loads are switched off. The emergency generator test guarded push button is mainly operated by maintenance crew to test the emergency generator if the AC normal buses are supplied or the static inverter if only batteries supply the electrical network. On Gen 1 line push button switch the smoke light comes on amber when smoke is detected in the avionics bay. Off position enables the crew to isolate the AC bus system from the Gen 1 and to connect the Gen 1 output to the left and right number 1 inner tank pumps. Rat and emergency generator light comes on red if the emergency generator does not supply the electrical network when AC bus 1 and 2 are lost. When the manual on guarded push button switch is in auto position the rat is automatically extended by the system in case of emergency electrical supply conditions. When pressed the rat extension is manually selected and the emergency generator is coupled to the electrical network 3 seconds after the rat operation.